Hello, fellow sob addicts. So, the uh, locking plate that locks your shifter into reverse uh, when you pull the key out somehow got bound up or something against the floor of the car. So, of course, you have to take the rear of the floor console out. At least in, in WOS, they call it the floor console. The center console out. At least one of the side panels, maybe both. I didn't do both, but I did break a little plastic, which unfortunately I don't like. But I don't think it'll alter fitment. I think it'll still, everything will be kind of tight in there. But after, now I had to unbolt the shifter body. There's four bolts around it. I took the uh, air duct here out just for a little extra room. So I'll have to put that back in. They recommend you take the seat out. Probably a lot easier if you do. It's not, I don't know if it's 100% necessary, but seats are really only four bolts, not that hard to take out. Four bolts and a plug. So it might be, but I'm kind of in a hurry and I'm irritated. So you know how that kind of thing goes. In any case, the uh, unbolting it, and uh, I did have to loosen the. Uh, shifter linkage clamp so that the rod could move and I could twist the body of it in order to... I probably didn't need to twist the body of it, but I, I probably did need to loosen the uh, linkage clamp so I could play with things. But once the body was off of the floor of the car, uh, it loosened, you know, the, the shifter lock, the lock plate allowed the shifter to move again. I know it, it was, got bound up somehow in there. Uh, what happened was uh, Abby was driving I won't say anything more about that. And uh, <laughs> she had uh, gone to park in the driveway, had pulled the e-brake up. Of course, the e-brake doesn't work real well. We need to do uh, e-brake pads. Because as you know, on the uh, Saab 9.3, the rear rotors, the inside is a... Uh, the rear rotor, the inside has almost a, like a drum in it. And uh, the e-brake works as a sort of a mini drum brake inside of the rotor. So I need new uh, sh shoes, I should say, brake shoes for my uh, e-brake. Uh, that would probably help a lot of issues. Well, obviously I'd be able to stop on hills without pointing my wheels at the curb and such. But in any case, she was rolling backwards. I think the clutch, she said the clutch was out, but I think she had the clutch in. In any case, something happened in the linkage. We heard a clunk, or, you know, in the shifter body. It sounded like it was down here. And, uh, so it was, it must have been. And, uh, you know, today pulled it all apart, took that body off, and the lock plate kind of pivots sort of on the bottom of the gear shift assembly. If you look in WS, you, you can kind of see it. Here is the old... Hang on. Here is the old body from my car. It actually, it would go in... Oh, finger. Sorry, guys. Okay, so here's the uh, one from my old car. This is the lock plate, so it sort of went in like that. This fits in there somewhere, I don't remember exactly how, and so does this piece. So this piece actually I think is the clamp that holds it all in there. And it kind of goes in there like that, and so when you turn the key, this plastic thing here yeah so I keep hitting stuff on my phone I'm sure that's annoying anyway when you turn the key I think this plastic bit here kind of moves the lock plate so then the shifter can move so obviously I've already taken this one apart but you can see how the lock plate has those edges there, so those it kind of pivots on the bottom of the shifter body, and something in there got bound up. So now it seems to be working. Put the key in. And take it out of gear. Put it back in gear. Take the key out. So weird. I don't really know what to say about it, but I had to. Pull the shifter body up, 
actuate things once it was up, bolt it back down, and it seems like it's good. So keep on sobbing, everyone. Uh, everyone knows the moniker or acronym. Something's almost always broken. In the case of my car, it seems to be true. But uh, I'm also sob addicted and broke. It's my only car, and I still love it, despite how often it seems to break. And uh, gotten pretty good at fixing it, to be honest. I still got a long ways to go on things. You know, I want to get the seat swapped and other things that I've mentioned throughout other videos. But anyway, shifter body. That's today. Seems like uh, things are working again now. I'm going to work on putting them back together for a little bit. But uh, figured I'd take a short video of it. Like, share, subscribe, comment, whatever. Keep on sobbing. Happy boosty,